Costa's Curse is an aggressive, invasive weed first detected at Gelatin in 2001. We've been here for seven years and we keep seeing the weed pop up out of the ground. We know what it's like, we know uh, what damage it can do if it's left go to sea, which will spread and become a monoculture. But unfortunately, uh, there was a new incursion. This is the first in Australia, right here. Uh, ground Zero is just over there in, a, in an old nursery. The second incursion is 130 kilometres away in Wurunurin National Park, Misty Mountains Walk. In recent years, landholders like Fred and Jeanette have largely been left to fight this significant weed without support. If there's no funding for specialists to find costas in the areas that are difficult to get into, then it's going to spread very rapidly because birds apparently pick up the seeds and distribute them over a large area. Groups like Dr Pam Schultz's are doing what they can, but a lack of resources risks further spread of Costa's curse. Because as you can see it's rainforest um, and it's an extremely aggressive weed. It, it will fruit and flower here all year. Wherever there's a bit of water, Costa's curse will grow. And it will grow in shade, so that, that's the scary thing about it. Um, if they don't contain it, um, we're looking at millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars if it doesn't get contained here because it will just take over. State and federal governments have been funding Costa's curse eradication since 2002. That funding stopped in 2016 when a second infestation south of Cairns was found. The Invasive Species Council believes that without a coordinated response, Costa's curse would spread to become a serious environmental weed across large areas of northern and eastern Australia. The Invasive Species Council is calling for a review of the decision to stop eradication funding before it's too late. Cayman area um, is within a circular road and it's about 250 hectares. So it's such a small area it can be contained here and this is the point, this is the major point. If we can contain it here, it won't flow down the Mitchell River. To find out more, visit invasives.org.au.